Garrison, Utah is out there, about halfway between Vegas and Salt Lake City. But behind this rusty door? The whole cave itself is a formation. Feels like I'm stepping back in time. Is a portal to another era. Watch your step right there on that piece of coral. Travis Allred's family. Wife's family discovered this cave. Have been caretakers of this natural wonder since 1956. The entire thing is crystalline. These balls of crystal that magically glow when you hold up a flashlight have been covering these walls for centuries. The light's refracting through the calcite crystal and diffusing throughout that whole system, creating this ball of light. And that is why they call this Crystal Ball Cave. And just like a mystical crystal ball... It's all right to walk past these? Yep. This cave may actually be able to predict the future. I haven't seen a good rainstorm here but once in the last year and a half. 200 miles south of here near Las Vegas, Lake Mead has a dry ring. The drought here dates back some 21 years. What happens in Vegas comes from somewhere else. My name is Matt Lockneed. I'm a paleoclimatologist at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I study past climate change. When you have climate changes in the Arctic, for example, that melting sea ice cause the high pressure cell that's sitting over the Pacific Ocean to strengthen. And that means less rainfall is brought into the Southwest. And it's the caves that record every drop of the past. When rainfall leaks in, and form stalactites. They have rings that grow one on top of the other. But they're not like tree rings you can count one per year. You can look back here and see those different growth cycles. Each cave ring takes decades to form. The caves allow us to go back much further in time, 12,000 years and even longer. By uranium dating these cave rings, scientists can study droughts of the past and know more about what's happening with today's drought. This whole area where I'm walking was water. Even the year before last, this was all water. I gotta really duck down through here. This passageway is the lowest part of the cave that's about 150,000 years old. How do they know? Well, there's fossils right back here. These bones are the ankle portion of Eohippus, which was a miniature horse that lived between 14,500 years ago and 150,000 years ago. Thousands of years before the pyramids were built in Egypt, there was a mega drought raging around this Utah mountain with the cave forming inside. The cave rings recorded it all. The stalactite here is normally dripping once every one to two seconds. Where there was once a foot of water deep inside the mountain, there's now nothing but sporadic drops. Dr. Lockneet says what we see happening in the Arctic today could be a butterfly effect that brings back extreme dry conditions of the ancient West. And so what we see are connections between different parts of the Earth's climate system. The moisture that normally is in this cave just isn't here. We should be expecting that there would be less water. The aridity could last for a long period of time. Nature is capable of being even drier than it is today.